Yo, Adam Saxon with Guy in a Cube. Another week, another roundup. We've got items all the way from the registry to DAX to visualization. It's all there. If you're going to be at Microsoft Ignite, we are going to be doing a meetup. It's going to be Tuesday, November 5th. We will have more details out on both Twitter and in next week's roundup, so stay tuned. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos from both Patrick and myself. And with that, let's dig in. Chris Hamill's got a blog looking at overlays inside of your reports. This is actually a very cool technique and one that can be used to really help understanding what's going on with certain visuals. Patrick did a video last week about you know, how you could actually add the animated GIF to the visual header tooltip. This is another way that you could give information to your users to allow them to understand you know, how certain metrics are behaving or, hey, there's drill down on this visual, go click on that. Chris walks you through how to set this up using a little bit of PowerPoint magic, some buttons, some selections, some bookmarks. It's a lot of magic inside of Power BI and it's not very complicated. Definitely take a look at this blog post and see how he did it. And also be mindful of the colors and contrasting that you're using when implementing this type of item to make sure that everyone can actually understand what's going on. Links as always down below. Marcus Wegner's got a blog post looking at how you can adjust your language for Power BI Desktop if you're dealing with multiple languages. In his case, it's German and English. It's just a simple trick of editing the registry in order to allow Power BI Desktop to understand what locale it's actually dealing with. And Marcus walks through the steps in this blog post to show you how you can actually accomplish that. Big word of caution if you are gonna be editing your registry, please be careful. If you're not comfortable with it, don't do it. But it's a neat technique and I wanted to pass it on to you. Links as always down in the description below along with links for all the items in this week's roundup, including some bonus items, so go check it out. Marco Russo's got a blog post looking at distinct count in DAX. In this blog, he walks through to show how distinct count actually matches up with other possible techniques, one of which being SUMX. This blog post, I feel, is a follow-up to a video that Phil Seamark and I did uh, a couple weeks ago, and it was a great video. And one of the things that we showed in that video was that if we switch distinct count out with some X, it performed way faster. That was not the point of the video, but it was what everyone kind of latched onto. And we actually had a disclaimer in the video saying, don't pay attention to that. That's not really the point of this video. So Marco's got a blog post here, which actually goes through and explains what's going on. So really great blog post. Be sure to check it out and understand why distinct count may be faster than some X or even potentially vice versa. He's got you covered in this blog post. There was an announcement that automated machine learning or AutoML is now generally available inside of Power BI. This is actually a feature if you're going to use it, it requires Power BI Premium or Power BI Embedded in order to use. But if you are using it, it is now generally available and they've done some updates to the items that were there. For example, being able to control training time and also updating the training report to let you get more insights into what actually happened and also updating the existing AutoML items that were already there. This is a great way to implement some machine learning learning items, especially if you don't really have any background in that and not quite sure what to do. AutoML is a great way where you can go ahead and create those models with little to no knowledge about it and be able to implement that inside of Power BI. So it's very cool. There was an announcement about contact lists being available for reports and dashboards inside of Power BI. So with inside of your app workspace, if you designate groups or individuals for that contact list, they will actually show up in the details of that report or dashboard. Up on the top, you can click, and then you will see the folks that are inside of that contact list. When you select that, an email will get generated that you can send to those folks to reach out to them. They will also receive any emails related to that given app workspace. So any requests for access, things of that nature. One thing to note is that this contact list doesn't propagate to the published app. So there is a support URL that you would have to point them to that would have that given information from an app perspective. Be sure to update the contact list with inside of your app workspace so that the consumers of those reports and dashboards can reach out if needed. 
We got the Power BI service and mobile September 2019 updates. This was just kind of a roll up of what happened in September. There weren't a ton of items in this given blog post, but there were a couple of cool items. The one I liked the most was the new look for the Power BI mobile app. It actually looks really cool. Some of the updates that were made were very interesting. And I'll have a link to a video that Patrick did about that update. There was also the ability to update template apps as well as some roadmap updates. Be sure to check out the blog post to look at all the updates that happened in the last month. Links down below. All right, I wanna pass this off to you. What was your favorite item this last week? Maybe it was something I mentioned. Maybe it was something I didn't. I wanna know, let me know down in the comments below. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome and we'll see you in the next video.